I'm Odd Job Fix with tips and tricks for repairing vintage, antique, and collectible items. These table lamps will be repaired one by one coming up next. In part two in this series, I've got two lamps. They both have socket problems, and they're both the pull chain style, which I'm not necessarily in favor of because it puts a lot of stress on the, uh, the socket every time you use it. So these are just jammed up. They won't work at all. Uh, something's amiss inside. So oftentimes, you can put uh, some kind of lubricant in there, a penetrating lubricant, and free them up. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. In this case, it doesn't seem to be working. So we're going to take my little customized screwdriver here that's got a little hook on it and insert it into the sleeve, release it, and um, remove the defective switch. Now with the defective switch sockets removed, I'll just take a quick look at these things. There's parts falling out of them, so they're obviously not gonna be good. Too bad, because they're pretty well made. So I'm going to use a uh, rotary type of switch rather than a pull chain on these. Um, there's a couple reasons for that. But one is um, they require just one slit in the outer sleeve there, as, such as you see. If I used a, a push type switch, I'd need one on the other side. I'm using the older, darker one, of course. Now, I'm going to twist the wires here, and I'm going to twist them counterclockwise. They wrap around the lug much better if you do them counterclockwise. So there are two lamps. The second one is another pull chain and it's got a non-polarized plug which is not a good thing. So I'm feeling for the ribbed side of the of the lamp cord there which is the neutral side. And once I've determined the neutral side I'm just going to cut it off and throw it away. I was able to free these up with some lube. This is the base of the lamp and it needs some cleaning and a little straightening out as you can see. Um, each of these little swans are just kind of drooping. This type of lamp is known as a Bouillot lamp. So it, uh, the originals were candles with a sliding shade to uh, shield the flames from uh, card players' eyes, the game Bouillot. I'm gonna remove these uh, with a uh, single screw in the bottom and then I'm going to gently pry these open so that they're a little more level. That looks better. So on to the cleaning. What I'm going to use here is a little ketchup. Uh, not to polish it but just to take a little of the surface oxidation off, I want to preserve the patina that this lamp has. I've found that gently using a small amount of ketchup will not harm the finish. However, there is some verdigris, and I do think I'm going to take that off because while that might be desirable for something of an exterior nature, I don't think it's quite the thing for an interior lamp fixture. So uh, I'm going to leave it as dark as possible and yet clean it up. Now, the shade, uh, which is a toll, uh, meaning painted and stenciled uh, over brass, is just going to get a coat of wax here. And I think that's going to make that look really, really good. So with a little bit of elbow grease and some buffing, this is going to really look good. And that's just about it for the Boyot lamp. I want to thank you for watching. I hope you take the time to subscribe and watch some of my other videos. As I said, this is a series. Uh, there should be up to a, a half a dozen lamps before I'm done here. And as I mentioned before, every one of them's got a little bit different of a problem, and there may be a, another set of tips and tricks. 
That's it for now. Thank you.